Szanowni, nazywam się Jerzy Kruk i oglądacie Four Senses TV. To jest kanał, w którym degustujemy. I dzisiaj degustowaliśmy niezwykłe butelki. W sumie było 25 win. Wszystkie z Kalifornii, których łączna wartość to było około 4,5 tysiąca złotych. Niezwykła degustacja, a współtowarzyszami degustacji byli najważniejsi blogerzy na temat wina. Wśród uczestników jakże ważny portal Star Wines z mocną reprezentacją. Był Weiner, był Michał Konwicki, był Star, sam Star, był Kuba Janicki, z kontretykiety, był Maciej Gontarz z kolejnego blogu Vini Culture, Był, byli koledzy, którzy zresztą wypowiedzą się w dalszej części z blogu Winne Przygody, była Borysa Lasko z blogu Książka i Wino, no i był, niektórzy mówią, jakże słusznie, naczelny bloger kraju, czyli Wojtek Bońkowski. I jego wypowiedź teraz usłyszycie na samym początku. Dowiedzieliśmy się z 25 butelek, że Kalifornia produkuje dobre wina, to już wiedzieliśmy wcześniej. Natomiast nie otrzymałem odpowiedzi na pytanie, jak Kalifornia chce sprzedawać swoje wina w Polsce. No właśnie, Wojtek zadał bardzo ważne pytanie, czyli czy Kalifornia wie, jak sprzedawać swoje wina w Polsce? Ja mam poczucie, że odpowiedź na to pytanie padnie w dalszej części materiału. Za chwilę zobaczycie moją rozmowę z Erikiem i Chrisem, którzy właśnie zorganizowali całą tą degustację. Oni stworzyli też agencję, która nazywa się EC Wines. Czym będzie się zajmować ta agencja? Co ona chce zrobić dla kalifornijskiego wina, a też dla polskiego konsumenta i dla paru innych osób, którzy są w tym całym łańcuchu pokarmowym? Za chwilę zobaczycie. Słuchajcie, koniecznie dalej. Chris, uh, tell me please, please what's EC One company about? What are you doing? We are uh, agents for producers in California. In fact, we're more exporters than importers. We're, we're talking to importers here in Poland about bringing to them higher quality California wines that are currently on the market here in Poland. Uh, we believe that there's a niche for higher end wines in the Polish market. The, the problem challenge is that um, uh, quantities uh, and what we're doing now is we're putting together a program to uh, to to import micro importing multiple parties so that they can pool their resources as far as, as shipping goes so they can get the shipping rates that are lower for larger quantities and uh, and break that up after it gets to Poland into into to separate uh, uh, sales What kind of producers are you representing? Because some of the producers that uh, we had uh, during the tasting are the bottles are produced only in something like 1,000 cases quantity. So probably they are even hard to get in the United States market. So are you representing those small or uh, as well as some common brands? We've got um, more than 70 different labels we're representing. They range from small producers who are making a thousand, two thousand cases of a particular yeah. variety, all the way up to the fourth largest producer in California, which makes millions of bottles of wine every year. Um, so we have a wide variety of wines available for importers here. They can be um, low, uh, inexpensive, low end, high production wines. They can be very expensive, um, low production, high quality wines, or something in between. You are from the United States, you spent a uh, lot of time in Poland, so you know both markets. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if you are noticing the differences in the United States and in Poland about the Polish consumers, uh, what, in what kind of step we are here and if you are planning to use it somehow. Absolutely. And in fact, it's, um, the Polish market right now is, is very similar to the California market of 30 years ago. Right. People emerged from uh, lower end wines, what we call jug wines, uh, hearty burgundies, you know, and, and they started to develop a more sophisticated taste in wines. And that's what's happening in Poland right now. The market, the market is shifting. Uh, in, in the under 30 Zawalta, uh, a range, 
the, the, the market is stagnant. It's not growing at all. Uh, it's, it's, it's the higher end wines. It's like over 30 is a wall to a bottle of wine that, that, that is increasing. And, set. and uh, so, you know, I, 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 I see a, a real potential with the Polish market to doing similarly as happened with, in the American market. Polish people tend to like more fruit forward, uh, 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 heavier uh, uh, wines. Um, they're, moving, they're moving into, um, you know, Better, stronger, bigger bouquets, and and um, um, and it's it, it's the kind of wine we make in California, and we make it well. It's it's and uh, um, California tastes are actually sort of changing the other direction a little bit. They're not towards cheaper wines, but towards more of the the older world tastes in wines. And uh, so um, you know, but we've been making these wines for 30 years now, and uh, and I think we've got it down to science. And I believe I believe that the Polish market is ready for. You mentioned uh, the micro-importing. Tell me what exactly uh, it is. Uh, micro-importing is uh, the ability for a entrepreneur, an owner of a wine shop, a, I, I, like for, for example for you, or a, a, a restaurant owner, right. right, to be able to buy directly from a producer in California, all right. Um, they could buy 10, 20, 30 cases of a mix of mixed varietals and even from multiple producers. That single order would be combined with other entrepreneurs who have single orders as well. Yeah. Until we could get enough orders where we could get break prices on shipping, which then reduces the overall cost to all the participants of the micro importing consortium. They get to save on the shipping costs. They do not have to actually purchase from a wholesaler here in Poland, which then saves them the cost that the wholesaler has of warehousing, of distribution, of advertising, and sales. In addition, you, as an entrepreneur, get to purchase the specific wines that you want and have tasted from a much larger variety than a single wholesaler could offer you. That's the idea of micro-importing. Tell me, because uh, this is a kind of offer for small, like me, or lots of different, uh, yes, wine shops, uh, restaurants, as you said. Probably I have lots of ideas what kind of restaurants could uh, cooperate with you. But tell me, if uh, bigger wine importers, uh, can you offer them, because even the big ones, they don't have uh, Californian wines in the offer, uh, do you, would you like to count them a bit? Oh. Large, large importers, absolutely. Um, if they're looking for products that can compete at the entry level, yeah, right, even if Carlos, yeah. yeah, something like that, right. There's no competition for the two. Um, well, it's really. it's extremely difficult to compete with them because they produce, distribute their own products and advertise them and so on. It's a completely self-contained multinational corporation. It's extremely difficult. However, there are wines available that can fit into those price points. We yeah. have some of those available and we'd be happy to show those wines to uh, large importers and help them import them and, and distribute them throughout the country. The wine shops, uh, the owners of the restaurants or even maybe that's uh, bigger wine importers, they maybe would like to contact with you uh, to get your help. Tell me how they can find it. Absolutely. They can contact us either here in Warsaw at or, uh, by phone or by email, and or in California, also by phone and email. Eric, Chris, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very happy that you invited so many main wine bloggers in my place. I'm very happy about it. Uh, well, this is a wonderful place. The Four Senses is a great events place. Thank you. Token Whisky Star Wines. Właśnie skończyliśmy degustację win kalifornijskich. Było intensywnie, bardzo intensywnie, co widać pewnie po moich zębach. Większość win była czerwona. Fajna okazja, żeby spróbować różnych rzeczy, których normalnie spróbować nie sposób, a nawet gdyby był sposób, żeby je kupić, to pewnie nie na wszystkie butelki byłoby nas stać. O, tutaj będzie można przeczytać opisy wszystkich tych win. 
i jeszcze od całej masy innych gmin łap z górą. Cześć, Mateusz z Winnych Przygód. Byliśmy na właśnie Wielka Kruka na degustacji win kalifornijskich. 25 fantastycznych butelek, większość niedostępna w Polsce. Zabawa przednia, jak widać, moje, moje czerwone zęby chyba to uwydatniają. Generalnie świetna okazja, żeby się spotkać. Po raz pierwszy w takiej grupie polskich blogerów mogliśmy razem porozmawiać, zobaczyć się na żywo, a nie tylko przez internet. No i generalnie mam nadzieję, że okazja do picia takich win będzie jeszcze niejednokrotnie. A tymczasem wszystkim rekomenduję przygodę u Wielka Kruka po prostu genialne. To są oknie popołudnie wrześniowe. Płyną nam na degustacji 25 kalifornijskich. Cieszę się, że jako przedstawiciel przywód wraz z Mateuszem mogą uczestniczyć w tej degustacji. Eric i Chris dostarczyli nam 25 bardzo ciekawych kalifornijskich miejsc, które przypadły mi do gustu w Kłaszczacie Mam nadzieję, że takie spotkania w blogerskim salonie będą wydawać się częściej.